Hi, it's Kara. Welcome back for this week's Spirituality with Bling. This week, I want to talk about why it's so important to keep your vibration level high and how you can see that play out in your everyday life. And I want you to understand that where your vibration level is affects absolutely every aspect of your life. So it's not just about manifesting big goals or dreams. It's about the little things that happen in day-to-day -day life. And if you can keep your vibration level high, everything in your life becomes easier. Things happen quickly for you. Things come to you easily. It's effortless. You can take the struggle out of your life by keeping that vibration level high. And I have a story to tell you about an example recently of, of what we went through. And it has to do with that generator again that I talked about in last week's video. You know, that storm that hit here on the East Coast hit on a Friday night, almost midnight. So it was really kind of, most people were asleep. And so Saturday morning, when everyone started to wake up and realize the mess that, it, that, that everyone was in, a lot of people, like hundreds of thousands of people literally, started shopping for generators because we had, I think, 600,000 people out of power in the state of Maryland alone. And so on our street, we couldn't even get out of our street uh, until almost lunchtime because there were so many trees on the road. So by the time the road was cleared and my husband went to the store to try and buy a generator, not yet realizing how bad the whole situation was, of course he got to the Home Depot and was told that they had hundreds of people in line that morning to buy a generator and if they only had less than 50 in the store to begin with. So it was at that point that we realized how hard it was going to be to find a generator right now. But we packed ourselves up in the car and started to drive around mostly to go get coffee, to be honest with you. And we kept stopping at different stores and, and no one had a generator. And my husband called some family members to see if they had a generator that they weren't using, but no one did. So we continued to drive around. Um, and. You know, we just generally try and keep our vibration level high. We both tend to look for the good in things and we try and stay positive. And that's why I'm sharing the story with you. Because within two hours that day, we got a phone call from a family member who had a neighbor who had this brand new generator, never been used, that we could either borrow or come and purchase from him. And that's what we did. But what makes this even more amazing is that when we did come home that day with the generator, later that day, a neighbor from nearby came by and told us that he had stopped by our house earlier in the day while we were gone because he had an extra generator that he wanted to see if we needed. Now, I'm sharing this story with you because I realized after the fact, really after I let it sink in, that statistically, the, just the idea that we would be able to have access to two generators on that day, within hours, that morning, when there were literally hundreds of thousands of people trying to find a generator to buy or borrow or rent, it's just statistically miraculous that we could have had two generators so quickly. And that's why I'm sharing that as an example, so that you can see that when you just live these practices on a regular and daily basis, it comes back to benefit you in so many ways, in ways that you couldn't possibly even have planned for. I mean, we didn't sit around and meditate on a generator, and we didn't, um, you know, we didn't write affirmation statements to get a generator, and we didn't make a vision board for a generator, although those are all strategies that I think work to help you manifest and achieve big goals, but it's the little things in your day-to-day -day life that are, will, when you start to recognize how easily things fall into place, it's really going to surprise you. And those are the kinds of things that somebody else might say, well, they're just lucky. And I'm sure you know people who, you might look at their, at their life and the way things work out for them, and you might think, well, they're just lucky. 
And I'm just here to tell you that luck has nothing to do with it. That when you practice this on a regular basis, your life can function like this. And you can get rid of the struggle in your life. So, for this week, what I really want you to do is I want you to focus on recognizing how you're feeling, where your vibrational level is. And the easiest way to do that is to start to notice when you are grumbling or complaining. And one way to do that is to wear one of these, if you have one of these rubber bands that you can just wear on your wrist. So that every time that you notice it on your wrist, you think, okay, what, what am I thinking now? How have my thoughts been? And if you catch yourself getting into the grumbling and complaining, then switch it off of this wrist and put it on the other wrist as a reminder. And when you do that, think of something to be grateful for at that moment. And then keep doing that every day for this week. If you practice this for a whole week, being mindful of noticing when you're griping, complaining, bitching about something, and every time you can catch yourself, switch that energy to something positive and something to appreciate and be grateful for. That's the first step to, sh to start to really shift and raise your vibrational level to a place where you are going to want it to be so that you can live effortlessly and a life of abundance. So that's it for this week's Spirituality with Bling. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try that. Let me know if you have something else that you use as a reminder other than something on your wrist. I'd love it if you shared those ideas. So thanks for watching and have a great week.